PDX models are derived from tumor tissues uh, harvested from donor patients. The tissue are then implanted into immunocompromised mice and from there expanded from mice to mice, making it available for patient studies over a longer period of time. And since the, the PDX models are derived directly from patient tumors, they have not been grown in plastics or as cultured cells, the PDX models can reflect the, the heterogeneity of the patient human tumor, <clears throat> and they can also directly reflect what is experienced in the clinic, in the clinic, sorry. So this makes the PDX models an important part of the translational oncology research. Bioreperia have done a lot of studies using these PDX models, and we have done validation studies with over 50 PDX models coming mainly from uh, lung cancer and breast cancer models. So this is a study uh, made with lung cancer PDX models provided by Charles River. Um, we used uh, 25 PDX models from non-small cell lung cancer carcinomas. Out of these 25 PDX models, uh, all of them established microtumors in the zebrafish, and the treatment was made with erlotinib and paclitaxel. Looking at how well these models correlate to mice, in this uh, evaluation, we were able to see an 87% treatment correlation to the outcome of treatment they had seen in mice. And by using the zebrafish model uh, to evaluate metastases from these PDX models, we were able to predict the patients with lymph node involvement with 100% accuracy based on the metastatic ability of this model. As I mentioned previously, the zebrafish and the mice are great complementary models, and they both have benefits and limitations, but together they make a great system to be used in parallel. And I would just like to mention a little bit of the benefits and the limitations of the models. And uh, first of all, you would get in vivo tumor efficacy from both models. And the response to standard of care in mice and zebrafish are very well correlated. And in zebrafish, you would also get anti-metastatic uh, efficacy data. And also since the embryos are transparent and the tumor cells are labeled with this red fluorescent dye, the tumor cells can be followed in the living embryo throughout the experimental time period. The Cerberus system also allows for a high scalability since they can be um, done in 96 well format. So this enables the model to be used for screening and also to provide a lot of data in a short time. And since the uh, evaluation time for this model is only five days, Another, another advantage is that the platform requires a very small amount of compounds. So if your compound is more difficult to produce, you can still be able to get a lot of data with only a very small amount of compound. And it can also, the Zebrafish platform be used for identifying different types of combination treatments or synergistic effects. Um, however, due to this short assay time that the Zebrafish has, um, the, some uh, post-experimental analysis might be more difficult to perform, and then the mice model would be a great complement or an ideal complement to the zebrafish. And uh, with the mice model, you could then do, for example, molecular and pharmacological characterization, so biomarker identification. And uh, also since the um, microtumor in the zebrafish is very small, it's only maybe 500 to 700 cells. And uh, of course, in, in mice, the, the tumor would be larger and it would therefore also retain more of the histological characteristics of the original tumor. And in zebrafish, the treatment onset is typically almost immediately after implantation. So in a mice, it might also be easier to better simulate the biology of patients in terms of where the patient's tumor has been growing for years, perhaps, before treatment onset. And it also allows for more long-term treatment studies. And of course, can also be done in host, host <laughs> adult host organisms, sorry. But in conclusion, uh, the benefits of each of these systems makes them both very good complements where you can both screen compounds and PDX models, and you can get the needed information about the biology and pathways to evaluate anti-tumor compounds in a more efficient and streamlined way by using them together either in parallel or one after the other. For more information, please visit our website or contact us directly to set up a meeting to discuss how the zebrafish can help you.